Every organism in the planet that you see is not just one individual. There's going to be organisms within it. Mm -hmm. I like to show my students uh, uh, under the microscope uh, cells, like the cheek cells of a, of a human. They get kind of excited, grossed out at the same time, uh, seeing their own cells. But then I show them cells of bacteria, and I have them calculate the sizes of them as they're looking at them under the microscope, and realize that even individual cells in our mouth, or the individual cells of the little microorganisms that are swimming in the water, you can put thousands of bacteria inside one of those cells. And so there's actually even one-celled organisms have mutualistic relationship with even smaller one-celled organisms inside them. It's astonishing. At every level, we've got organisms relating to other organisms in mutual and symbiotic relationships. The way we ought to interact with one another, Right. The way we should be interacting in our churches, for example, where multiple people get together and there should be mutualistic relationships, long-term relationships that benefit everyone. It's supposed to be what the family is doing. Long-term relationships, multiple people, everyone benefiting. And it's all supposed to do that because it's picturing the very nature of God himself with the perfect mutualistic relationships among mm -hmm. the members of the Godhead.